And good evening, everyone. Uh, tonight I'm going to show a little experiment I've been working on for the oak and iron ships. I've been painting the ships from the oak and iron starter set in fairly traditional um, Vallejo and Ari Painter acrylic colors. However, when I got to the sails, I wanted to make them look a little more interesting um, than just painting them white or off right. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've based them in uh, an army painter or mummy robe. It's just an ever so slight off-white, kind of like a linen or a, or a, um, a canvas color. You can go in anything that's um, kind of a very light off-white. But then to make them a little more interesting, you can see I've got these weird dots here. So what these are, are these are actually oil paints. So I've gone ahead and just gone with some very basic oil paints. These are cheap oil paints from Michaels. Um, and I've gone with zinc titanium white. It's an ever so slight off-white. And then I've gone with um, a mix of yellow ochre and burnt umber. This is kind of your basic um, yellowy tan and your basic brown color. You can find it at pretty much any craft store. These tubes are pretty cheap. I, I have a, a big bundle pack uh, for not that much money. And I've done a mix. Um, I've done dots of the zinc titanium white and dots of a mix of the yellow ochre and the burnt umber on the sails. So again, these sails are based in mummy robe and then dotted with the oil paint. You can kind of see there's actually some texture of the oil paint because it's it's very thick. You don't really need to thin it. Um, but then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a very rough brush. This is just kind of an old cheap brush from a craft store. Oh, this is the old cheap craft brush from the craft store. And using some ownerless paint there, just a touch of paint thinner, I'm going to go from top to bottom like this. And this is going to rub that slight off-white into that slight yellowy brown. And it's going to make the sail slightly, because I put the dark brown dots or the yellow brown dots on the bottom and the white dots on the top, it's going to make the top a little bit lighter and the bottom a little bit darker, like it's shadowed or a little dirtier. You can see there should be some shadows on this underside a little bit. And because this is oil paint, it takes forever to dry. It takes days to dry. Um, you can always go back the next day and see, oh, this is a little too obvious, or you can add a couple more dots and do the same shading in. You can see on the back, because of the way the shadows would fall, um, I actually put the darker dots up top and the lighter dots down on the bottom. So I'm gonna do the exact same process. You can see now I have this really dirty looking canvas sail. You can see a little bit of the brown acrylic base coat I had to paint over down there. I have to fix up, but you can, I have just this very slightly off-white dirty canvas look that is not it's a little random in its pattern, so it doesn't look, you don't have to go through and do tons and tons of layers so that this is an ever so slightly darker shade. Here's a bigger one, a bigger sail, where this uh, effect is gonna be more dramatic. Again, you can see the white up here on the top and the brown down here on the bottom. You can literally see the brown start to disappear. And this, you want to use a really beat up brush for this. And the effect, the effect on this sail might be a little too subtle. I might let this dry a little bit and then go back in with a little bit more brown tomorrow. And you can be rough on this. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit more oil spirits in my brush, just a little damp. And then you want to get most of the oil spirits off. You don't want your brush to be wet. You want your brush to be ever so damp because you can see that the, the, um, the oil paint was no longer smearing because the, my brush had gone dry. So now I want those oils to smear. It's, obviously it's a little glossy because it's wet right now. There you go. That's actually probably a little too much oil, uh, mineral spirits. And you can see again, you're left with this. It's hard to tell because it's wet. Let's pull. Um, a completed one up. I did this one about 10 minutes ago. See a slightly darker shades on the bottom. It looks like a lovely, just dirty canvas. It really doesn't take all that much work. Again, all I needed for this was just 
two or three cheap oil paints, a slight off-white, and then sort of a medium browny yellow. I, I had these two and I mixed them together. You could probably find one color that works well for you and a little bit of odorless mineral spirits. You could probably pick all this up at the craft store for less than $10. And then you're good to go on making your sales just a little bit more interesting. Let's do a really big one and see how it works out. Really big one for the light frigate here. Oh, that's my good brush. Don't want to use that one. Yeah, here's you use your old crusty brush. Doesn't really matter. There you go. And yeah, it's a really easy way. You don't need to go through and spend hours blending your acrylic paints because the oil paints just naturally blend together. And you get that dirty canvas sail look. There you go. And of course, it's a little shiny because it's wet right now. All right, thanks a lot, everyone. I'll post some other information uh, when I'm done painting up the oak and iron ships. So you all have a good night.